Listening test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC listening test with half the usual number of questions. You don't need to write anything down. Answers are provided immediately after each question. There are four parts and directions will be given for each. Let's begin. Let's kick off with part one, listening photographs. Get ready to analyze some images and pick the best response. Number one. A. A man is serving lunch to children in a classroom. B. Two people are walking through a park. C. A group of people is standing in an office. D. A teacher is writing on the board. The correct answer is A. A man is serving lunch to children in a classroom. Number 2. A. A group of construction workers is reviewing a blueprint. B. People are having a picnic in a park. C. Two people are studying a chalkboard on a construction site. D. A person is shopping in a supermarket. The correct answer is C. Two people are studying a chalkboard on a construction site. Number 3. A. A group of students is attending a workshop. B. People are giving a presentation in an office. C. A man is using a laptop while a woman takes notes. D. Workers are preparing for a meeting at a construction site. The correct answer is C. A man is using a laptop while a woman takes notes. Number 4. A. A businesswoman is attending a meeting. B. A woman is giving a speech in a cafe. C. People are gathered at a cafe for lunch. D. A waiter is serving tea to a customer. The correct answer is B. A woman is giving a speech in a cafe. Number 5. A. A waiter is serving drinks to customers. B. Two chefs are preparing food in a kitchen. C. A man is giving a presentation while holding a glass of wine. D. People are waiting in line at a wine shop. The correct answer is C. A man is giving a presentation while holding a glass of wine. Number 6. A. Business people are discussing data near a train station. B. People are boarding a train at a station. C. A person is giving a presentation in a park. D. A group of people is attending a meeting indoors. The correct answer is A. Business people are discussing data near a train station. Now, let's move on to part two. Listening, question response. Time to sharpen your listening skills and pick the correct replies. Number one. Could you help me with this data entry task? A. No, the data is from last year. B. It is a new project. C. Sure, I can start right away. The correct answer is C. Sure, I can start right away. Number 2. Could you help me with this report? A. Sure, I'd be happy to. B. It's 10 pages long. C. It needs to be done by tomorrow. The correct answer is A. Sure, I'd be happy to. Number 3. When is the report due? A. It's due next Monday. B. I'll work on it today. C. Yes, I received it. The correct answer is A. It's due next Monday. Number 4. Whose phone is ringing? A. I lost my phone. B. No, it's not mine. C. I think it's John's. The correct answer is C. I think it's John's. Number 5. Do you know when the next train arrives? A. It should arrive in 15 minutes. B. Yes, let's check the timetable. C. I'm not sure about the schedule.
The correct answer is A. It should arrive in 15 minutes. Number 6. Where did you put the files? A. On your desk. B. I'll check my email. C. I haven't seen them. The correct answer is A. On your desk. Number 7. Who's going to lead the project? A. We did. B. Sarah will handle it. C. I can't attend. The correct answer is B. Sarah will handle it. Number 8. Do you need a ride to the airport? A. Yes, that would be great. B. I prefer taking the bus. C. The airport is very busy. The correct answer is A. Yes, that would be great. Number 9. Who is responsible for the sales figures? A. I believe it's Jessica. B. They have increased this quarter. C. We need more data. The correct answer is A. I believe it's Jessica. Number 10. Who's coming to the presentation? A. It's in the conference room. B. I made some notes. C. I believe the whole team. The correct answer is C. I believe the whole team. Number 11. What time does the train to Chicago leave? A. No, I'm heading to Boston. B. At 4.30 p.m. C. I'll have to check the schedule. The correct answer is B. At 4.30 p.m. Number 12. Could you turn the music down? A. Sure, no problem. B. It's very loud. C. I like this song. The correct answer is A. Sure, no problem. Great job so far. Next is part three. Listening, conversations. Listen carefully to short dialogues and answer the questions that follow. Number one. Do you have a moment to discuss the marketing strategy? Yes, but only for a few minutes. That's fine. It won't take long. Excellent. Let's get started. What are they going to discuss? A. The new product launch. B. The annual budget. C. The marketing strategy. The correct answer is C. The marketing strategy. Number 2. Are you attending the workshop in Atlanta next week? Yes, but I still need to book my flight. Better do it soon. Prices are going up. Thanks for the reminder. I'll do it now. What does the woman need to do? A. Cancel her trip. B. Book her flight. C. Prepare her presentation. The correct answer is B. Book her flight. Number 3. I'm having trouble with my laptop. Can you help? Sure. What's the issue? It won't connect to the Wi-Fi. Let me take a look. Maybe it's a settings problem. What is the man's problem? A. His laptop is broken. B. He can't send emails. C. He can't connect to the Wi-Fi. The correct answer is C. He can't connect to the Wi-Fi. Number 4. I've finished reviewing the project proposal. Can we discuss it now? Sure, give me a few minutes to wrap up my current task. No problem, I'll wait until you're ready. Thanks, I'll call you to my office shortly. Where will they discuss the project proposal? A. In the woman's office. B. In the man's office. C. In the meeting room. The correct answer is B. In the man's office. Number 5. I'm heading to the client's office to deliver the presentation files. Do you need any help with that? No, I've got everything. Just cover for me at the front desk until I get back. Will do. Where is the woman heading? A. To a meeting room. B. To the front desk. C. To the client's office.
The correct answer is C. To the client's office. Number 6. The team meeting has been moved to the afternoon. When exactly? At 4 p.m. instead of the usual 2 p.m. Thanks for letting me know. When is the team meeting now scheduled? A. At 4 p.m. B. At 2 p.m. C. At 3 p.m. The correct answer is A. At 4 p.m. Number 7. Have you booked your flights for the business trip next month? Not yet. Do you have any recommendations? Yes. Try booking through the company's travel portal. Thanks. I'll do that today. When is the business trip? A. Next week. B. Next month. C. Next year. The correct answer is B. Next month. Number 8. I've booked the venue for our annual event. That's excellent. Have we sent out the invitations yet? Not yet. I'll do that first thing tomorrow morning. Great. Let me know if you need any help. When will the invitations be sent out? A. This evening. B. Next week. C. Tomorrow morning. The correct answer is C. Tomorrow morning. Number 9. Do you have the quarterly report ready for review? Yes, I finished it last night. Would you like me to send it over now? Please do. I would like to go through it before the meeting at 2 p.m. No problem. I'll email it to you right away. When will the man review the quarterly report? A. In the morning. B. At 12 p.m. C. At 2 p.m. The correct answer is C. At 2 p.m. Number 10. Have you spoken with the IT department about the software issue? Yes, they said it should be resolved by end of day. Good. We need it working for our presentation tomorrow. When will the software issue be resolved? A. Next week. B. Tomorrow morning. C. By end of day. The correct answer is C. By end of day. Number 11. I need to submit my travel expenses. Did you fill out all the forms? Not yet. Make sure to submit them by Friday. By when does the man need to submit the travel expenses? A. By Wednesday. B. By Monday. C. By Friday. The correct answer is C. By Friday. Number 12. I'll be out of the office on Monday for a dentist appointment. Thanks for letting me know. Can you send the email draft before you go? Sure. I'll finish it this afternoon. Great. Appreciate it. Why will the woman be out of the office on Monday? A. She has a dentist appointment. B. She has a meeting. C. She is on vacation. The correct answer is A. She has a dentist appointment. Let's dive into part four. Listening talks. You'll hear brief talks or speeches, so stay focused for the questions. Number one. Hello and welcome to Fitness World. We're excited to offer a range of classes from spinning to Pilates. Our goal is to help you achieve your fitness dreams. Don't forget to sign up for a membership for exclusive benefits. What should visitors do to get exclusive benefits? A. Join a fitness group. B. Attend classes regularly. C. Sign up for a membership. The correct answer is A. Sign up for a membership. Number 2. Hello, everyone. We're excited to announce our upcoming baking workshop next Saturday. This workshop is perfect for both beginners and experienced bakers who want to enhance their skills. Reserve your spot now as seats are limited. Let's bake something wonderful together. When is the baking workshop? A. Next Saturday. B. Tomorrow. C. Every Monday. The correct answer is B. Next Saturday.
Number three. This weather alert is to inform you of a possible thunderstorm this afternoon. Expect heavy rain, strong winds, and potential lightning. Please stay indoors if possible and avoid traveling during the storm. Secure any outdoor items and follow local weather updates for further information. What should you avoid during the storm? A. Indoors. B. Listening to weather updates. C. Traveling. The correct answer is A. Traveling. Number 4. Welcome to the City Art Exhibition. We feature artwork from talented local artists. Feel free to browse and purchase any pieces you like. Don't forget to vote for your favorite artwork for the People's Choice Award. Thank you for supporting our local art community. What can visitors do for the People's Choice Award? A. Vote for their favorite artwork. B. Purchase artworks. C. Attend an art workshop. The correct answer is C. Vote for their favorite artwork. Number 5. Our community center will be offering free yoga classes every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. for the next three months. All levels are welcome. Please bring your own mat and a water bottle. When are the yoga classes being held? A. Mondays and Fridays. B. Tuesdays and Thursdays. C. Weekends only. The correct answer is C. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Number 6. We are excited to announce our summer sales starting next Monday. Enjoy discounts up to 50% on all summer clothing and accessories. Visit our store or shop online to avail amazing offers. Additionally, members get an extra 10% off. When does the summer sale start? A. Next Friday. B. This Saturday. C. Next Monday. The correct answer is C. Next Monday. Number 7. Welcome to City Park. We offer a range of activities including hiking, cycling, and bird watching. Please make sure to stay on designated paths to protect the ecosystem. If you need any information, visit the help desk near the entrance. What should visitors do to protect the environment? A. Avoid cycling. B. Go to the help desk. C. Stay on designated paths. The correct answer is C. Stay on designated paths. Number 8. Our business will be organizing an annual charity event next month. We encourage all employees to participate either by volunteering or donating. The event will begin at 10 a.m. and will include various fundraising activities. Let's come together and make a difference. What time does the charity event start? A. 10 a.m. B. 12 p.m. C. 9 a.m. The correct answer is B. 10 a.m. Number 9. Good evening, everyone. Tonight's lecture will cover the history and impact of the Industrial Revolution. We will explore how it began in the 18th century and led to major changes in manufacturing and society. Don't forget to submit your questions for the Q&A session at the end. What is the main topic of the lecture? A. Modern technology. B. The Industrial Revolution. C. World Wars. The correct answer is C. The Industrial Revolution. Number 10. Join us for a cooking demonstration by Chef Ramirez this Saturday at the Downtown Market. Learn how to make three delicious dishes. The demonstration is free and samples will be provided. Don't miss out. Who will be giving the cooking demonstration? A. Chef Jordan. B. Chef Ramirez. C. Chef Smith. The correct answer is A. Chef Ramirez. Number 11. Attention shoppers. We are happy to announce a special discount sale in our store today. All electronics are now 20% off until closing time. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to upgrade your gadgets at a lower price. Head over to the electronics section now. What items are discounted today? A. Electronics. B. Groceries. C. Clothing. The correct answer is B. Electronics. Number 12. Join us tomorrow at the downtown plaza for a spectacular farmer's market. Enjoy fresh produce, artisanal breads, and handcrafted goods from local vendors. The market opens at 9 a.m. and runs until 2 p.m. Don't miss our live music performances starting at 11 a.m. Come support the community and enjoy a wonderful day out. What time do the live music performances start? A. 9 a.m. B. 2 p.m. C. 11 a.m. The correct answer is B. 11 a.m. Reading test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand written English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC reading test with half the usual number of questions. No need to rush. Just follow along, and answers will be provided after each question. There are three parts, and directions will be given for each. Let's begin. Time for the reading section. Let's start with part five. Incomplete sentences. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. Number one, the team. Working hard since the project started. A, will be. B, is. C, has been. D, was. The correct answer is. C, has been. Number two, if they. The information sooner, they could have made better decisions. A. No. B. Knew. C. Have known. D. Had known. The correct answer is D. Had known. Number three. He apologized. The inconvenience caused A. To. B. About. C. With. D. For. The correct answer is D. 4. Number 4. The company was founded. 1995. A. At. B. From. C. On. D. In. The correct answer is D. In. Number 5. The project was delayed. The unexpected technical issues. A. In spite of. B. Because. C. Because of. D. Due to. The correct answer is. D. Due to. Number 6. There is no rain tomorrow. We will hold the event. A. If. B. Although. C. Because. D. Unless. The correct answer is D. Unless. Number 7. They discussed a new office location. A. Opening. B. Opened. C. Open. D. To open. The correct answer is A. Opening. Number 8. She. The report when the phone rang. A was writing. B. Will write. C. Wrote. D. Writes. The correct answer is A. Was writing. Number 9. The meeting was postponed. The weather. A. Despite. B. In spite of. C. Because. D. Because of. The correct answer is D. Because of. Number 10. If we better prepared, we would have won the contract. A. Have been. B. Were. C. Had been. D. Are. The correct answer is 
C. Had been. Number 11. The project was completed. The budget was exceeded. A. Although. B. Even though. C. So. D. Because. The correct answer is B. Even though. Number 12. The company is known. Its innovative products. A. With. B. By. C. For. D. To. The correct answer is C. For. Next up is Part 6. Reading. Text completion. Complete each text by choosing the best answer for the single gap. Number 1. Dear team, please ensure that all reports are by the end of this week. Regards, Project Manager. A. Submitted. B. Submissions. C. Submits. D. Submitting. The correct answer is A. Submitted. Number 2. Please find attach the minutes of the last meeting for your review. Kindly let me know if any are needed. A. Correct. B. Correctly. C. Corrections. D. Correcting. The correct answer is C. Corrections. Number 3. The software update is now. News. Please ensure that all systems are updated by the end of the week to avoid any disruptions. A. Available. B. Availability. C. Availing. D. Avail. The correct answer is A. Available. Number 4. Thank you for your email. We will? To your query within 24 hours? We'll see you in an hour. A. Responds. B. Responding. C. Responded. D. Respond. The correct answer is D. Respond. Number 5. We are writing to remind you that your monthly rental payment is due on the first of every month. Please ensure that your payment is by this date to avoid any late fees. Thank you for your cooperation. A. Submitting. B. Submit. C. Submission. D. Submitted. The correct answer is D. Submitted. Number 6. Your subscription will renew automatically unless you oh, uh, uh, please contact customer service if you have any questions. A. Cancel. B. Cancellation. C. Canceling. D. Cancelled. The correct answer is A. Cancel. And finally, Part 7. Reading. Reading Comprehension. Get ready to read passages and answer questions based on them. Let's finish strong. Number 1. Our latest newsletter highlights the successful completion of our charity drive, wherein we raised over $10,000 for local schools. This achievement showcases our commitment to giving back to the community. Thank you for your generous contributions. What is the main topic of the newsletter? A. New product launch. B. Successful charity drive. C. Upcoming sales. The correct answer is B. Successful charity drive. Number 2. Dear team, due to recent changes in our project timeline, the deadline for the Q4 report has been extended to November 15th. We appreciate your hard work and dedication to ensuring the success of this project. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. What is the key information in this announcement? A. Team meeting. B. Project cancellation. C. Extension of a deadline. The correct answer is C. Extension of a deadline. Number 3. Dear team, please be informed that our weekly meeting has been rescheduled to Thursday at 3 p.m. 
due to scheduling conflicts. Kindly make the necessary adjustments to your calendars. Apologies for any inconvenience caused. Regards, HR Department. What is the purpose of this email? A. To announce a new team member. B. To notify about a change in meeting schedule. C. To cancel the weekly meeting. The correct answer is B. To notify about a change in meeting schedule. Number 4. Dear Patrons, we are excited to announce that our library will extend its hours starting next month. The new schedule will include evening hours on weekdays and additional hours on weekends. Visit our website for full details. Sincerely, the library staff. What change is being announced? A. Extended library hours. B. A renovation project. C. New book collection. The correct answer is A. Extended library hours. Number 5. Dear employees, please be reminded that our annual team building retreat will take place from October 5th to 7th. This event is mandatory, and participation is crucial for fostering teamwork and collaboration. Ensure to mark your calendars and plan accordingly. What is the purpose of this reminder? A. Scheduling a meeting. B. Informing about a team building retreat. C. Announcing a holiday party. The correct answer is B. Informing about a team building retreat. Number 6. Attention passengers. Due to unforeseen circumstances, Flight 782 to San Francisco has been delayed by two hours. We apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your patience. Please check the monitors for updates. Regards, airline staff. What is the announcement about? A. A gate change. B. New in-flight services. C. A flight delay. The correct answer is C. A flight delay. Number 7. Announcement. The Community Center will be hosting a free health and wellness workshop on Saturday, November 20th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Topics will include nutrition, fitness, and mental health. All residents are encouraged to attend. Refreshments will be provided. When will the workshop take place? A. Monday, November 22nd. B. Sunday, November 21st. C. Saturday, November 20th. The correct answer is C. Saturday, November 20th. Number 8. Dear customers, we are excited to launch our new loyalty program. Earn points with every purchase and redeem them for discounts on future orders. Sign up today and start earning rewards immediately. What is the main feature of the new loyalty program? A. Providing customer feedback. B. Joining a raffle. C. Earning points for purchases. The correct answer is C. Earning points for purchases. Number 9. We are excited to announce our new corporate partnership with Green Solutions. This partnership allows us to offer sustainable solutions to our clients. Together, we aim to promote environmental responsibility. What is the main idea of this announcement? A. An upcoming event. B. A new product release. C. A new corporate partnership with Green Solutions. The correct answer is C. A new corporate partnership with Green Solutions. Number 10. We are pleased to introduce our new line of eco friendly products, now available in all our stores. These products are designed to reduce environmental impact and are made from recyclable materials. Visit our website to learn more and take advantage of our special introductory offer. What is this announcement about? A. Offering a blackout sale. B. Introducing new eco-friendly products. C. Opening a new store branch. The correct answer is B. Introducing new eco-friendly products. Number 11. Attention shoppers. 
we are conducting a survey to gather feedback on your shopping experience. Your input will help us improve our services. Participants will receive a 10% discount on their next purchase. Thank you for your time. Regards, customer service. What is being requested in the announcement? A. Feedback on shopping experience. B. Sign up for a loyalty program. C. Participation in a contest. The correct answer is A. Feedback on shopping experience. Number 12. Dear subscribers, stay tuned for our annual winter sale. Shamai Chan starting next week. Enjoy up to 50% off on selected items. This is a perfect opportunity to grab your favorite items at discounted prices. Best wishes, sales team. When does the winter sale start? A. This week. B. Next week. C. Next month. The correct answer is B. Next week. Number 13. Attention shoppers. Our annual clearance sale starts this weekend. Enjoy up to 50% off on select items throughout the store. Don't miss out on these incredible savings. See you there. Best regards, store management. When does the clearance sale begin? A. Next month. B. This weekend. C. Today. The correct answer is B. Next weekend. Number 14. Welcome to all new employees. There will be an orientation session next Wednesday at 9 a.m. in the main conference hall. This session will cover company policies, benefits, and an overview of our major projects. We are excited to have you on board and look forward to working with you. What is happening next Wednesday? A. A company party. B. A project deadline. C. An orientation session for new employees. The correct answer is C. A training workshop. Number 15. Dear patrons, we are pleased to announce that our library will now offer extended hours on weekends. Starting this Saturday, the library will be open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on both Saturday and Sunday. Come visit us for an extended reading experience. Warm regards, library management. What is the change in library hours? A. 24-7 opening. B. Weekday closures. C. Extended hours on weekends. The correct answer is C. New membership requirements. Number 16. Attention employees. Due to upcoming maintenance work, the company parking lot will be closed from Friday, April 10th to Sunday, April 12th. Alternative parking arrangements have been made at Lot B, a five-minute walk from the office. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation during this time. Why is the parking lot closed? A. For expansion. B. For maintenance work. C. For repaving. The correct answer is B. For maintenance work. Number 17. We are pleased to inform you that the annual shareholders meeting will take place on November 25th at 10 a.m. in the main conference hall. Attendance is highly encouraged, as we will be discussing the company's future plans and financial performance. Please RSVP by November 20th. What is the purpose of this announcement? A. To announce a company closure. B. To introduce new shareholders. C. To notify about a meeting. The correct answer is C. To notify about a meeting. Number 18. We are thrilled to announce our partnership with Green Planet, an organization committed to environmental sustainability. Together, we will work on various projects to promote recycling and reduce carbon footprint. Stay tuned for upcoming initiatives. What is this announcement about? A. The launch of a new product line. B. A new partnership with Green Planet. C. Opening a new office. The correct answer is B. A new partnership with Green Planet.